It's open. What's the word? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good whiff of his aftershave. Food's ready. Come get your order. Order up! Order's ready! There! All done! How about that? This door's not locked. Come on in. You've got my snack. Awesome. Here you go. Perfect, thanks. All yours. What else is going on? I'd better get going. Drop in any time. What's going on? It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me. Wow. Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. The thing is, he would have still been dating you when it happened. Like that means anything. 
The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Air hockey. Yes! I got a point! Oh, yeah. Point. Nuts, you beat me. There's the menu. Thank you. Need anything else? I better get going. Hang in there. Whoa, Izzy, yucking it up with Kareen? This is an interesting turn of events. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Kareen? There was no picture of me and Kareen. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Any idea who this somebody might be? Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. And they're both experts at doing underhanded things. Mel and her plagiarism. Leela throwing elbows whenever the ref's not looking. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Izzy sounds a tad upset.
คุกจังหวัดฟรูทยูคุณเข้ามาฟุตลิสันไอ้นู้ยูเช็คดาวด์บุ๊กของวิกตอเรียนดิเนงแต่ไอ้ว่าสงสัยว่าไอ้ไปขอบอร์วิตไอ้ไม่ค่อยอินทวิกตอเรียนสตัฟสงสัยไอ้นี่ดิฟฟ์ฟอร์ดเพเปอร์ไอ้ไม่ได้ฟังแต่ไอ้ไปเล่าให้ฉันว่า If you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while, and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her. Okay? Sure. One math notebook coming up. Great. I'll stop hassling you now. See ya. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Someone didn't lock their door. I'm here. What's the word? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts! I left it in the library. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel. Uh, she wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. It's almost like she's afraid of you. I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. I'll let you get back to your music. Drop in any time. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. How about that? This door's not locked. You can come in. What? You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. What do you have against Mel? Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. But before you said you didn't want to deal with her. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her because of these stupid papers I have to write. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. What's up, Rumi? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? 
Any idea who sent it out? Nope. It wasn't me, if that's what you're really asking. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. I'll see you in a bit. Later. What was that? What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. sound. Time to get up already? Nuts, there goes my phone. Wait a second, what's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. <laughs> Don't worry. What's up, Rumi? I found this barrette outside. Thought it might be yours. Nah, I don't do barrettes. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Later. <laughs> 